Jay-Z. 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 Queen B may not be seeing her husband for a very long time. The cops have been all over Diddy's business lately, and in their recent investigations, it looks like Jay-Z is allegedly one of Diddy's partners in crime when it comes to engaging in wild freak-offs. Now the cop allegedly have Jay-Z in custody, and things aren't looking good for him. Keep watching till the end of this video to see just now Jay-Z arrested in connection to Diddy's freak-offs. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. Before we get into the video, I want to give a quick shout out to the number one celebrity jeweler, the Ice Champ. The Ice Champ is doing a special deal for the next 24 hours on diamond watches, chains, and more. Follow at the Ice Champ on Instagram now. Jay Z confesses to freak offs with Diddy. Queen Beyonce has always consistently excelled in her professional career, yet her personal life faced upheaval when challenges arose in her marriage. The union of Jay Z and Beyonce drew considerable scrutiny amid rumors of infidelity. Jay Z has been heard admitting in an interview that he had been unfaithful to Beyonce and attributed it to his childhood issues. The couple had seemed flawless, but the strains in their their marriage became evident in 2014, coinciding with the speculation about cheating. Beyonce's impactful album Lemonade seemed to substantiate the rumors of unfaithfulness, prompting Jay-Z to finally address the veracity of the reports. During an interview with the New York Times Styles magazine, Jay-Z disclosed that his upbringing had prompted him to erect emotional barriers, causing him to shut down and engage in infidelity. Pouring out his feelings, he expressed, The hardest thing is seeing pain on someone's face that you have caused, and then have to deal with it yourself. You have to survive, so you go into survival mode. And when you go into survival mode, what happens? You shut down all emotions. He further added, So even with women, you gonna shut down emotionally, so you can't connect. In my case, like, it's deep, and then all the things happen there. Infidelity. Jay-Z went on to further explain that the incident of his cheating happened when he was out partying with Diddy on one of his nights out. He claimed that he and Diddy have been friends, and throughout their friendship, they have had several parties where girls were brought in, and they ended up doing a lot of freaky stuff. In a video streamed on his title platform, Jay-Z openly discussed his relationship challenges with Beyonce. The short documentary was released in conjunction with his album 444. Within the documentary, Jay-Z, who tied the not with Beyonce in 2008, acknowledged that confronting potential issues in his relationship and striving to resolve them has been one of the most challenging things he has ever faced. Titled Footnotes for 444, the documentary includes discussions about relationships with women and interviews with celebrities such as Chris Rock, Will Smith, Kendrick Lamar, Chris Paul, Jesse Williams, Aziz Ansari, Mahershala Ali, and Meek Mill. This is my real life, he says. I just ran into this place and we built this big, beautiful mansion of a relationship that wasn't totally built on the 100% truth, and it starts cracking. He continued, then we had to get to a point of, okay, tear this down and let's start from the beginning. It's the hardest thing I've ever done. Diddy and Jay-Z abuse 17-year-old on their private jet. Diddy and two of his associates were recently accused of abuse in a lawsuit that was marked with a trigger warning. The 14-page complaint was filed by Jane Doe against Diddy, former bad boy president Harve Pierre, and Jay-Z in the Southern District of New York with the plaintiff requesting a jury trial. Incredibly, it happens to be the fourth known suit since singer Cassie, Diddy's ex, accused him of physical and abuse in a suit that was filed on November 16th but settled the next day. Jane Doe in the complaint said that Diddy, Pierre and Jay-Z and sex trafficked her back in 2003 when she was a 17-year-old high school junior. Jane Doe claimed that Pierre, who happens to also be a singer, was accompanied by Jay-Z and others as he approached her and her friends at a lounge in Detroit. According to the complaint, Pierre told the teenager that Diddy would love to meet her and encouraged her to fly with him on a private jet to New York City. While they were still at the lounge, Pierre allegedly took Jane Doe into the restroom where he forced heavy amounts of cocaine upon her and then forced her to have oral 
s with him. Afterward, Pierre directed her to take a flight to Daddy's house recording studio in New York City, which Diddy owned. She claimed that while she was on the private jet, she was given copious amounts of drugs and alcohol, which in turn made her lose consciousness. As the night wore on, the 17-year-old Miss Doe became more and more inebriated, eventually to the point that she could not possibly have consented to having with anyone. Beyonce's sister confronts Jay-Z about freak-offs with Diddy. Jay-Z found himself in an elevator at the Standard Hotel in New York City accompanied by his wife Beyonce and her sister Solange following a Met Gala after party. Words were exchanged between Jay-Z and Solange and in no time it got physical. Jay-Z tried to defuse the situation and calm his sister-in-law, but his efforts to do so were in vain. Solange successfully delivered a few punches before a bodyguard attempted to restrain her, while Beyonce observed without saying a word or trying to stop her. The situation escalated to the point where the bodyguard halted the elevator to contain the altercation. In the midst of the scuffle, Solange even used her purse, hitting Jay-Z with it and causing its contents to spill out. As the elevator doors eventually parted, Jay-Z attempted to prevent any further attacks by grasping Solange's arm but she persisted. Beyonce's sister seemed unfazed as she made her way to the hotel entrance with the Carters following closely behind. Solange and Beyonce entered one car while Jay-Z entered a separate vehicle. A week later, TMZ leaked footage of the family feud courtesy of a rogue security guard who was promptly terminated after an investigation. The altercation allegedly stemmed from Beyonce and Solange observing Jay-Z getting uncomfortably close to fashion designer Rachel Roy, who happened to be the woman with whom Jay-Z had an affair. The most important thing is that our family has worked through it, the Carters said in a joint statement that was issued the day after the video leaked. Jay and Solange each assume their share of responsibility for what has occurred. They both acknowledge their role in this private matter that has played out in public. They both have apologized to each other and we have moved forward as a united family. The statement further read, At the end of the day, families have problems and we're no different. We love each other and above all, we are family. We've put this behind us and hope everyone else will do the same. Following the elevator incident, Beyonce astonished her fans by releasing her Lemonade album in 2016. Tracks like Hold Up and Sorry hinted at family issues, leading fans to scrutinize the identity of Becky with the good hair. After the album's release, Rachel Roy shared a photo on Instagram with the caption, Good hair, don't care. This fueled speculation that she could be the person referenced as Becky on the album. Rachel Roy initially worked as an intern at Rokaware, the urban clothing line founded by Jay-Z and Damon Dash. She subsequently married Damon in 1998, only to divorce him in 2009. Wendy Williams on her show claimed that both Damon and Jay-Z frequently changed their girlfriends. Williams also asserted that Solange attacked Jay-Z in the Met Gala elevator